Differences between advertising and sales promotion. Advertising. 1. Communication objective. Advertising aims to create awareness, build brand image, and communicate product features, benefits, and values to a wide audience. 2. Target audience. Advertising typically targets a broad audience or a specific segment of the market, aiming to reach as many potential customers as possible. 3. Long-term impact. Advertising focuses on long-term brand building and customer loyalty by establishing a strong brand presence and generating sustained customer interest. 4. Cost. Advertising campaigns often involve higher costs due to the use of various media channels such as television, radio, print, and digital platforms. 5. Reach. Advertising has the potential to reach a large audience, including those who may not be immediate buyers, creating brand awareness and interest among a wide range of consumers. 6. Time frame. Advertising campaigns are usually conducted over an extended period, aiming for consistent brand exposure and message delivery. 7. Creativity. Advertising allows for creative expression, utilizing storytelling, visuals, music, and other elements to engage and capture the audience's attention. 8. Relationship building. While advertising can contribute to building brand relationships indirectly, it is less focused on direct interaction with individual customers. Sales promotion. 1. Communication objective. Sales promotion aims to stimulate immediate sales by offering incentives, discounts, or limited time offers to potential customers. 2. Target audience. Sales promotion often targets specific customer segments or individuals who are already in the buying process or have shown interest in the product. 3. Short-term impact. Sales promotion is focused on generating immediate sales results within a short period, often creating a sense of urgency or limited time opportunity for customers. 4. Cost. Sales promotion campaigns typically involve lower costs compared to advertising as they are more targeted and have a shorter duration. 5. Reach. Sales promotion activities are directed at a narrower audience, including existing customers, potential buyers, or those in the decision-making process. 6. Time frame. Sales promotion campaigns are usually short-term, aiming to capture immediate attention and drive sales within a specific time frame. 7. Incentives. Sales promotion often involves providing incentives such as discounts, coupons, freebies, contests, or loyalty programs to encourage purchase or trial. 8. Direct interaction. Sales promotion activities focus on direct interaction with customers, encouraging them to take action, make a purchase, or engage with the brand immediately. 9. Sales volume. Sales promotion is primarily concerned with increasing sales volume and achieving short-term revenue targets. 10. Tactical implementation. Sales promotion campaigns are more tactical in nature, focusing on specific promotions, events, or limited time offers to drive immediate sales. 11. Channel support. Sales promotion activities often involve collaborations with retailers or channel partners to enhance product visibility and encourage point-of-sale promotions. 12. Measurability. Sales promotion activities can be easily measured in terms of immediate sales impact, response rates, coupon redemption, or participation in promotional events. These points highlight the distinctions between advertising and sales promotion, highlighting their varying objectives, target audience, impact duration, costs, reach.